Hey guys, little Cardock here. Yeah, Cardock here, and today I'm here with another haul video. Some of you guys wanted to see what kind of stuff I got this time around, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So I got some uh, Fire Emblem sleeves. This is a uh, Azura, and she is probably like one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters. So got sleeves for her. Didn't get them before, but you know I saw them for. They're not that expensive, so I got them. I got some Grisaya sleeves. Got um. Uh, Misaki Tobisawa sleeves. These were these were used, these used to be very expensive, so I saw them for a thousand thousand yen. So I decided to pick this up. Well, it was cheap. Also got a bunch of Pokemon merch. Um, actually, yeah, it's the Pokemon merch. First. So I got the Mar Shadow sleeves. Got the uh, Alolan Vulpix and Ninetail sleeves. Got the Snorlax and the Kanto starter with Pikachu sleeves. And got the Mimikyu with Pikachu sleeves. Not sure why they're acting so buddy buddy there, but you know, that's okay. Also got the Lusamine set. Uh, let me try to find a deck box. It's supposed to be here somewhere. Uh, wait, where to go? Oh wait, here's the here's the Marshadow deck box. Oh wait, I found the Lusamine deck box. So I got the also got the uh, Marshadow deck box, and here is the. Um, Lusamine neck box that you get as a set. I took a package out to save, save space, but yeah. So inside you get the two Lusamine and the Ultra Beast uh, dividers. Pretty cool. This is, the, these sets are also not that expensive, so they're pretty worth. Um, this one got the Lycanroc deck box. I also wanted to get these before, but I didn't for some reason. And I saw them at the airport, and I was just I was deciding if I really, really, really wanted them or not. And I was like, you know what? Why not? So I also got the Lycan Rock sleeves, and we also got the Mallow uh, deck case. These are the I believe these are the magnetic ones. Uh, at least the the Lilia one is magnetic, so I'm guessing this one's magnetic too, unless it's not. Speaking of the Lilie one, I also got the Lilie, the Lilie deck case, but I also uh, opened this because it's actually pretty useful. I mean, use it to store my Purina singles. Um, when you get when, when you get this, it comes with two packs of sleeves. You get, you get the uh, Sogaleo, Sogalio and the Lunala sleeves with it, so it's like one set. And this is also not that expensive, so this is very nice. Um, I really like that it's magnetic. So it doesn't, you know, the Velcro, sometimes if you use the Velcro too much, it it gets less sticky, but with the magnetic ones, it doesn't really do that. So that's good. Um, next, I got this Sistine sleeves. I got, this on, I got this on Impulse. I should have got the deck box too, but eh. Put that away. And I, I got some ReZero stuff too. I got the... Long hair rem sleeves, which is very nice, and I got the beach ReZero sleeves with Amelia Ram and Rem. Uh, these are also very nice. I only actually really like uh, Rem, but the other two look fine here too, so I decided to get it. Got some uh, arpeggio sleeves. This is with a Takao and the other chick. I forgot her name. Uh, next, I got the, the uh, Satan sleeves. Uh, I, I ordered this. I ordered this um, in Hong Kong, but the guy forgot my pre-order for some reason, so I had to get this in Japan. I uh, also for, they, they also he also forgot the pre-order for my Night Rose and Lukier deck box. So I and I couldn't find those in Japan, so I'm actually really really pissed off about it. But whatever. Uh, next, let's talk about let's do the actually no, let's do the Fate stuff last because I have a lot of Fate stuff. So the high school DXD sleeves. Uh, this is the um, Rias Grammarly, Grammarly sleeves. This used to come with promos, but I got the just pack of sleeves for itself, and it was only 500 yen, so it's a pretty good deal. Because I don't play the I don't play Precious Memory anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Also got the promo uh, Akane, Akane, uh, Akino and Rias sleeves. Cowgirl Akino and Cow. No, Cowgirl Rias and Cow. Uh, Akino sleeves. And I got 
the, I got these for a friend. These are the uh, first edition for the Grammarie uh, sleeves, but these are pretty old, so I have to get a second hand. He was fine with it, so it's fine. It's also only a thousand yen, so it's fine, even though it's second hand. So next, I got some uh, Konosuba sleeves too. This is the Aqua, you know, Aqua Megumin and Darkness sleeves. Also got these two, uh, the light novel art style sleeves for Megumi and Aqua. I already got the Aqua one, uh, Darkness ones before because uh, they were not. I got it for the decent price in Hong Kong. While well, these ones are very high priced. So oh my god, let me mute this for a sec. Sorry. So I saw these for a pretty decent price in Hong Kong, uh, in Japan. So I got these two. I always wanted these, but I didn't really want to pay the price that people in Hong Kong were selling it for. So decided not to get those then. Um, got the Luck and Logic sleeves, Tamaki and Venus. These are also very cheap. Luck and Logic is pretty dead, but I don't know, the girls are so nice. Got some um, uh, Shin Mai sleeves. These are also not very expensive, so I picked these up. Uh, I'm probably going to give it to a friend. Got these uh, original artwork sleeves. Um, yeah. Paul, this is drawn by one of my favorite artists. Uh, if you read, never mind. <laughs> Not gonna go there. Uh, so I got some uh, Dan Machi sleeves. Uh, this is the Press of Memory and Level Neo crossover. I don't play either of those games, but Hestia is pretty good, so I decided to get back those. Uh, next, we got the Narmaya, and I forgot what her name is. She's the the Year of the Sheep chick, I think. But yeah, they're from Grandpa Fantasy, and I mainly wanted this because Narmaya's on it, and I couldn't even find any Narmaya solo sleeves, so I got set to pick a pack, pick up a pack of these. Mm, let's see. I think we can move on to the fate stuff now. I think there's nothing else. Yeah, that's, actually, no, worries. I got one more Pokemon deck box. So, oh, okay. Wait, there's some stuff in here too. Alright, so I got this Pokemon I got. This was also a package, but I had to un unpackage it because I wanted to put the sleeves in here and to save space. So these are the Alolan Celebration deck box. So it's a very cute deck box. This is also the right size for a Vanguard deck. So you can put your G Zone in here too. And it's um, the Pokemon Center exclusive. Exclusive. So it's very, very cute. Look at, look at that. Look at those totems. So nice. Victini and Pacquio, and there's Pikachu's, and then there's a uh, Jirachi and all that stuff. And there's Mokuro. I mean, not Mokuro. Rowlet. Mokuro is his Japanese name. And then there's Snivy and Shaman. And then you also get the sleeves where you get all of them. I usually don't use these, but I don't know. Maybe. So I also got uh, some Dragon Maid sleeves. Don't loot the lolly, but Toka is pretty good. So, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I got these sleeves for Toka. <laughs> Kinda as cute too, but don't loot the lolly. Don't loot the lolly dragon. It's just wrong, man. Alright, next uh, we got some Tawawa, Tawawa sleeves. Um, she's wearing the Virgin Killing sweater, which is always nice. So, so I get a pack of those. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just, just Google the Virgin Killing sweater. You won't regret it. All right, the next uh, we got some fate sleeves. So we got uh, mysterious Heron X holding ex uh, both of the Excaliburs, the altar and the normal one. And we got the mysterious Heron X, mysterious Heron X altar, one with her Sith form. I like to call it the Sith form because she has like she can use Sith lightning and she's uh, got those uh, red lightsabers. And then this is um, mysterious Heron X with her schoolgirl outfit, which is also nice. We also got some um, Saber Bride and Joan of Arc sleeves. If you guys are watching Fate Apocrypha right now, then you'll probably know who Joan of Arc is now, even if you don't pay, play um, Fate Grand Order. Next I got this Skathatch deck box, because she's the best girl. And inside, oh, they, they didn't come out of a set, but I put them in there to save space. So I got these Skithatch sleeves. 
these ones too, and then I got some Musashi sleeves because Musashi is also very good. So, yeah. They're also from artists that I, I follow on Pixiv, so it's very nice to see these printed on sleeves. Alright, uh, next I also, also got this Mysterious Heronex deck box Alter, uh, Alter, no, Alter version and uh, actually this, the content inside is not related to the deck box but got these four play uh, sleeves, got the Okita Soji, Joan of Arc Alter and Joan of Arc and then we got Skatach I know that's not how I pronounce the name but I think the Celtic way of pronouncing it is very hard so yeah, but um, I don't know, which one do you have more? Do you, do you like uh, Altair more or do you like the normal Joan of Arc more? I'm kind of uh, stuck between the two of them. They're, they're both very nice. Alright, next, I got this, I actually got this one as a set. This is the Musashi set. So, uh, inside you get the three sleeves. So I got this, it was a 4,000 yen, so 4,000 yen for three sleeves and the deck box is actually pretty good. Uh, if you get this at Comic Kit, it's only or not a comic kit, the, the, whatever event it was in, I don't think this is the comic kit one. Um, there's only 3,000 yen, but paying 1,000 yen more just not having to line up and go to comic kit is pretty worth in my opinion. Also, I, I couldn't have made it, I couldn't have made it anyway, so yeah. Alright, so you get the Musashi sleeves, it's different from the one I got before. I believe this is Kiyohime, Yandere, so careful. And uh, you got the Chibi Musashi sleeves. There's too many. There's so many of these chibi ones. I couldn't get all of them, so I only got one of them. Maybe I'll get them more next time if I see them for cheap. They have one for like almost every fake character, so I should have got one. I should have got the Skadash one, but I was hoping that I could find the set for it. Um, next, I got the. Oh, these are really lewd. Uh, I got the Sakura Melty Lilith set. I think that's, yeah, that's the new class, or not, it's not that new, but that's the new class she's uh, featured in. So this is Sakura. It's not the real Sakura though, this is like some clone or something. Uh, this is, I believe this is Mordred? No, this is not Mordred, this is probably just, this is probably just a uh, Saber with a weird outfit. It, it came as a set, so I don't know. And we got the Melty Lilith, uh, I forgot her name, but she's part of the... Melty Lilith. She was a part of the Melty Lilith pool in Fate Grand Order. I wanted to pull her, but I, I couldn't pull her, so I was just like, you know what? Forget you. But again, uh, the set was very cheap, so I, so I get it for 4,000 yen. All the all the sets were 4,000 yen, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah. I don't know how that works. It's very. It's actually kind of gross, but. I could sell this in Hong Kong for more money, so <laughs> that, that'll be my excuse. So next we got these uh, this uh, stained glass window kind of looking. Actually, she's not really stained glass, but uh, these uh, fade sleeves that are um, very th thematic. I really like these. These are very. It's very nice. Look at it. Look at the deck box. It's like nice and the shield in the back and there's, like the windows. So if you look at the sleeve, it's just like this. It looks really really cool. It's kind, of, it's kind of subtle weeb. It's not like super hardcore weeb, so you can use these on. You can use these sleeves if you're scared people are gonna judge you. Because they're not super weeby. So it's Shielder, and then you got the Joan of Arc one, which is also very nice. I don't know, the Shielder one doesn't look as nice as the other ones, in my opinion. It has, it has, it's less thematic, I guess. It's less, has less details on the thing and stuff, but it still looks really nice nonetheless. I'm gonna put this back. Okay. Um, I this this does come as a set, but I didn't get it as a set. I had to buy it separately, so it was pretty expensive. Would not recommend. But I I got this one, the alter version, as the set. So this one comes with pretty much it's pretty much like the dark, the alter version of the other set. So you get I look at that box. Saber alter, and then you get the windows, and then you get the uh, Joan of Arc alter in the back. So you get the Joan of Arc Alter Sleeves. Uh, you got the uh, Archer Sleeves, the Shiro Archer Sleeves, and then you get the Saber Alter Sleeves. So I, I honestly, I think these ones are less nice than, except for Joan of Arc, the Joan of Arc one's pretty nice. 
Uh, these ones, I like the non-altered ones better, but this was cheap, so that's fine. 4,000 yen. So I want to get both sets. And if you come up with a third set, I'll probably get that too. Alright, uh, almost at the end. So, also got some uh, Mashu, Mashu, I uh, got the New Year Mashu deck box. And it's also got the New Year Mashu sleeves. These, these does, uh, does not come in a set, but it's really nice, so I just had to get it. This was not cheap. Also got a VKS sweater, or not, VKS uh, Mashu. And you got the Halloween Mashu. Very lewd. So if you like, if you like your Kohais, then you can go find these sleeves in Japan if you want. And uh, next, we got the summer uh, Kosaki. I think his name is Kosaki. Uh, set. I really like his art, so I always get his stuff. But he's coming with an art book soon, so I'm probably gonna order that too. But it's coming out in Comic Kit 92, so I'm not sure if I can get those for cheap. So if you look at these, it's uh, all jo Joan of Arc Altar in a bikini. It's Beach Saber. And you got Okita Soji. Yeah, yeah. So this is very, this is very nice. Um, so, I don't know, this, these, these are very expensive separately. But I found a set for 4,000 yen. I, I'm not sure why they sold it for so cheap. Because I saw the, I saw this, I saw this uh, pack of sleeves selling it by itself for 5,500 yen. So I was like, 4,000 yen for all four of these items? Yo, sign me up. So, there's that. And, uh, I think that concludes it for the sleeves. I, I should get the supply. Oh, wait, no, I got some. I got point exchange to some Vanguard stuff too. So, this is the Zodiac Time Beast deck box. And I got the Garmore deck box. Got the Blau deck box. And got the Battle Sister deck box. Of course, it comes as a set. So, um, if you get the whole set's for three points, and you get the Garmore sleeves. And so, if you exchange three points, then you get the. For example, what's the normal? Three points gets you these two items. And, uh, the Zodiac Time Beast doesn't come with anything else, so it's only one point. But it's still very cute because it's all, it's all the um, small animals. So, good. Uh, next, I also got a Pokemon Binder. This is the, um, the Krozma, Charizard, and Rayquaza. Binder. It looks so epic, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pick this up because it looks so freaking cool. And the back doesn't have anything, but I don't know. Pretty cool. I, I would use this as a poster if they had one, but it, it has a binder, so use this anyway. But it's, it's pretty cool. Alright, um, what else? Oh, let's talk about the figures I got. Because I got a lot of figures. Uh, should I do that? Yeah. Okay, so I got the. Oh no, I got some play mats too. I'm gonna play mats first. Put these away first. So I got four play mats this time, I believe. Four. Yeah, four. So obviously, you can see that I got the Anji play mat. It was very cheap. It was only four hundred, uh, not four hundred, nine hundred yen. So I picked those up. Every everywhere else, I saw it for one thousand five hundred yen. So I'll, you know, I picked it up for nine hundred yen. It was also the first day, so maybe it's selling for more now. Uh, you guys saw this. I'm gonna use this uh, during my live unboxing, so nothing different there. I got these uh, the saber mat as all four saber variants: red saber, blue saber, saber lily, and saber altar. I got the sleeves for these uh, last time I came here, so I decided to get a play mat for it too. Um, I know I haven't I haven't edited the vlogs for my trip last year, but I probably will do that, get to that soon. I Since I didn't make any vlogs for this year, I'm mainly focused on the live stream because my camera has no space, or I'm using my phone camera and it has no, my phone has no space, so I decided not to vlog and just do live streams instead. And this is the, the this year is the same artist, it's by Sh, uh, Shin. Um, his art is pretty nice. So 
So this, you saw the sleeves that I got for the inside. This I put the play mat too. So it's pretty good. And I got these uh, Skatash. Skatash by play mat by Kosaki. I believe that's his name. If I, if I misremembered his name, then I apologize. But this is a very epic looking play mat. So I guess I get this. I couldn't get this last year at a comic kit. It was this was from comic kit ninety one, and I couldn't line up for it. So I got this for a thousand yen more. But perfectly fine. I right, have so some little figures. So got the Master Altoria sleeves. This is uh, how Saber would be if she was a master. Um, it's by the company Alter, which is one of my favorite figure manufacturing company companies now. They make some pretty high quality stuff, so if you guys are planning to get some good quality figures, then I highly recommend uh, you, looking at the stuff that this brand makes. But they're also pretty expensive, so if you're a beginner, you might not want to invest in these, but honestly speaking, it's worth the money. Alright, next we got some Poe Skeletons. Uh, I mainly got these for the, the set, and not for the skeleton stuff, so I can uh, play, my, play with my Nanoroids using these using them as a set. So, also got this, which is a um, Japanese style room, which is nice. You can choose either or, so they're pretty good. Uh, next, also got this uh, western style room set, so you can either pose it as this one, or this one. It's also pretty cheap, or it's not that cheap, but so this one's 1,200 yen. It's pretty cheap. Uh, the cart is actually 1,000 yen, but yeah. Um, again, these are to use used to play with my Nendoroids, so it's gonna be pretty hype. I'm gonna have a set for them. And if you guys don't know what Nendoroids are, then you guys can wait a sec because I'm gonna show you the Nendoroids I got this time around. So I got the Akagi Avnak. I, oh, I did get Akagi, but I got the Kaga Nanoroid. This is a special edition one. And I got the special edition Akagi along with it. So the total total for these two is 9,000 yen, but it's not it's not too too expensive. But these are these are quite old, so pretty glad I found these. One's 426 and one's 391. Um Yeah, because like right now Nanoroids is coming out with like 600 or something. I think 700 is coming out soon. So these are pretty old, but they're also releasing way too many nanoroids recently, so it's pretty hard for people, for collectors. Alright, next I got the uh, Lala, Lala, Lala Devil Luke figure from Alter. Um, this is the pastel coordinate version, not the dark one, but uh, I kind of like this one more. But, yeah. So, yeah, again, this is by Alter. It's very nice. And this is very expensive in Hong Kong, so I'm pretty glad I picked this up in Japan. It's actually pretty expensive in Japan too, but I found one place selling it for cheaper than the other places. That's the thing about uh, Japan. If you go to other places, then you have to go look at the prices, or else you might get you might buy it for more. All right. All right. Next, I got uh, Jehuti, the Anubis version of uh, Jehuti. Um, this is from Zone of the Enders. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this game before. It's pretty old. This is this is open, but this is very old, so uh, I was fine with it being open. And of course, uh, since I got JHD, I also got Anubis. So I won't have to fight each other because it's gonna be pretty cool. So I got some mech stuff. I wanted to also get some uh, Next Edge style figures, but they're actually not that not that cheap in Japan, so I decided to hold off on those. Mainly, I want the Alpha Mon and the Omega Mon, but it's actually cheaper in Hong Kong, so yeah. Also for Nanoroids, I also got the uh, Yui Takamura Nanoroid. This is also pretty old. I have the Krista and the and her sister Kriska uh, Nanoroid, so I decided to get this along with him. I also like her the most, but I couldn't get her before for some reason. And actually, this is pretty cheap. It was only one thousand five hundred yen, which is a lot cheaper than uh, how much Nanoroids usually cost. This is second hand, but it has not been opened, so it's fine. And I also got the uh, Yusahara Emma Alter figure from Alter. This is like 9,000 yen, which is actually not that bad for an Alter figure. 
So, got that. Oh, I, oh no, the, the box is damaged. That's fine. Probably got nicked on the, uh, in the suitcase. Uh, next we got, I got Boa Hancock. This is the BB version, I believe it stands for Busty Babe version. Um, but yeah, if One Piece fans, you probably know who Boa Hancock is. Uh, I got the Nami version last time, the Nami BB version last time, so I guess I get the Boa one this time, because Nami and Boa are the best One Piece girls in my opinion. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, actually no, I think Robin already got one, but I don't think the Robin looks that nice, so I'm probably gonna hold off on the Robin one. And last but not least, actually no, there's one more, but it's, it's not currently with me. Um, I got the Hitagi, Hitagi Senjogahara uh, figure. This is also by Alter. This is really old, so um, pretty glad I found it, but it's pretty expensive. It was, uh, yeah, it's pretty expensive. And um, I actually had got one, also got one more figure after this, but um, it's currently with my brother since he helped me put it in his suitcase. So I'm probably gonna get it back tonight. If you guys want to see a picture of it, then I'm probably gonna post it on Instagram, not Instagram, uh, on Facebook or Twitter. So you guys can check that out. But that's pretty much it for this haul video, at least for the stuff that you probably care about. I also got some like clothes and stuff, but you guys probably don't care about that. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, sorry again, again so I'm sorry for not vlogging, but vlogging is pretty hard to do, especially when you're an you're as awkward as me. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Kartaku, and I'll see you guys later.